much love and support from leadership. My first year as council member, Borough President Eric Adams, Senator Savino, invited me to a beautiful new health clinic that Borough President Adams committed $1 million towards opening, where we provide the children of Coney Island free vision care, dental, mental health services, counseling services. That was the work of Borough President Adams and Senator Savino. We've added millions more during my tenure. But during Borough President Adams' entire tenure, folks, get this on the record. Borough President Adams has committed and delivered during his tenure close to $200 million in capital for Brooklyn schools. Don't you tell me that he doesn't have an education record to be proud of. $200 million. Before the term infrastructure became cool, Eric Adams was investing in wiring upgrades, air conditioning upgrades, health clinics for schools, equity. Because again, this part of town didn't see that type of love and support prior to Eric Adams and prior to our tenure here. So folks, a mayor that has the qualifications the inspiring life story, the, the track record, but a mayor that wants the job and has showed that he's cool <laughs> on the outside. But Eric is fired up on the inside to deliver for New York City. I am proud to endorse the next mayor of New York, Eric Adams. <laughs> Southern Brooklyn, Southern Brooklyn, uh, you have an amazing a group of elected uh, from the historical long powerhouse of uh, Senator uh, Diane Savino, uh, just her, you know, just bringing in new electeds and nurturing them and helping them uh, evolve. I evolved as a state lawmaker uh, because I watched her and it was so important to get her on my team and having her part of Team Adams means a lot. And one of the most sought after endorsements, how many times did I harass you? <laughs> was uh, my good friend, uh, Mark Traeger, because former school teacher, push forward, innovative, important pieces of legislation and ways of educating our children. Far too often, we ignore those who have been in the industry. They know the solutions. Mark has, attempt, uh, has assisted me in navigating so many parts of the educational experience and what we need to do from the smaller class sizes to proper technology uh, to uh, healthy eating. You see how fit he looks. Uh, you know, he understood the holistic development of our children. Having you on board, this is the good housekeeping seal of approval uh, that we're going to have great schools where we're going to raise healthy children and families, not only academically smart, but emotionally intelligent. We are going to prepare our children for the future. And we're happy to be here with Ari Kagan, who we are giving two thumbs up for the city council seat. Good luck to you and your runs. So this is a great moment. It's a great moment for us. Five more days. Or four, some people say. Four more days, we are so focused. No distractions, no noise, straight ahead, making sure we grind these last four more days to determine the outcome of what our city is going to look like in the future. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited what this city is going to become. If we don't educate, we will incarcerate. We're going to stop putting our children on a pathway to Rikers and put them on a path, pathway to universities, a pathway to vocational training, a pathway to employment, a pathway to be part of the city that we live in and that we love. So thank you so much for this endorsement. We continue to expand and build out Team Adams. This is an exciting place for all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, in an interview with CBS News' Marcia Kramer, 
former ruler of Giannini, said he believes you're the right man for the job. With the rise of crime around the city, he believes that you can turn the city around. What would you like to say about that? Well, first of all, I don't, don't, with capital D-O-N apostrophe T, need Giuliani's endorsement and don't want to, his endorsement. And we don't need his endorsement. We have a coalition of people who believe we need to live together. One of the ways you sabotage a campaign is that you come out and endorse the opponent that you don't want to win. And that's what I believe he is attempting to do. But we are not going to allow his comments to distract us in any way. Uh, we are staying focused. These are the endorsements I want. I want the endorsement of my senator, my council person. That is what I am looking for. And so we don't want his endorsement. And New Yorkers, don't be fooled by his attempt to sabotage our campaign. Stay track, stay, stay focused, no distraction, and grind. That is our rule. Oh, excuse me. Uh, why is your why is your educational platform better than any of the other candidates? What what makes it stand out? I love that question. Every other candidate is talking about K through 12. Education is pregnancy through profession. If you don't start making sure mothers have the right nutrition, the right support, early childhood development, development, by the time you get to 3K and 3K, you're already too far down the line. Our neurologists and our pediatricians have been instructing us on this for far so long. We're going to make sure parents have doulas to learn how to participate in the development of their child and learn how to have proper nutrition, proper support of the proper rest, of how to deal with stress. That stress is passed on to babies when a mother's under stress. So we're gonna look at the full development of that baby in an early childhood development. No other candidate's talking about that. They're all talking about K through 12. When you go to communities like these, and if you're starting out when a baby is three, you already set that baby up for failure. I'm going beyond that baby being three. I'm starting early and I'm giving those mothers the support they need so right. we can start doing what affluent communities are doing. A, a rally uh, to protect and landmark the Coney Island Boardwalk. It was in the rain. Eric Adams showed up. So I don't really have to, you know, educate uh, Eric Adams about Southern Brooklyn because uh, you know he has he has been here. He's, he actually stood with us to to push for for, for uh, whether it's school uh, improvements or housing uh, issues or hospital, but also even for our board, our boardwalk. That is our central park. We don't we don't have any open streets in Southern Brooklyn. Again, we're, we're not on people's radar and powers that be over the mayor's side. But our boardwalk is our central park. That is where our folks, our seniors, our families gather. And some of the conditions are unacceptable. So Eric Adams certainly came out uh, to say that this is not acceptable. So we need a greater sense of equity in terms mm -hmm. of parks, uh, funding and maintenance. So I don't Has he committed to you uh, that as mayor, he'll be you know allocating more city resources for these areas? I could tell you that uh, I have talked to him extensively about the needs, not just of my district, but I believe is the region as a whole and of course in, in our school system mm. uh, the need to reduce class size the need for to kind of build on some of the models we're doing here with the uh, health health centers social workers counselors uh, uh, sports and recreation art for, for children uh, to kind of meet the needs of the child holistically Eric is very much into health and nutrition um, which I certainly appreciate and value, and that's a part of meeting the needs of the whole child as well. So I think that there's a lot, a lot of alignment.